we all like to take places, places of importance, and especially when we are invited, and we think that this is the best place, and we know that place does not belong to us. The place where you are sitting now does not belong to you. But you are just occupying that place just for the sake of celebrating this Eucharist. And after that, this place is not yours. Well, when we look at that aspect, we see that we only want not the place that is important for us to occupy, but our ego, the ego that we have, no, I must be seen, I must get the best place, I need to sit there. That ego is that which makes us feel that we have to get the best place. The seat is not that important, the chair is not that important, but our ego is so important for us that we occupy the most important place. The Pharisees and the scribes, they have their ego up the heavens and they will never ever put down their ego for any cost. Let it be, if it is their own life also, they will not give up. They will say, I am and I will. And that is how you see Jesus Christ again attacking them in the house of a Pharisee. He goes into the house of a Pharisee to have a dinner and there he ridicules them and says, those who are last will be first, those who are first will be last. And that makes them feel more terrible because their egos are being hurt. And therefore, Jesus says, everyone who humbles himself. Now we know humility makes us come closer to God. Ego will make us come closer to the evil one. Therefore, we see that if we don't have humility, we will tumble. And it will be terrible for us. And if we have that humility, the divinity of God will be seen in you. And that is how Jesus said, you who have taken a humble place will be elevated to a higher place to come closer to God, to come closer to the person who has invited you. Today, my dear friends, let us pray that we can empty ourselves so that our ego dies. The more you empty, the more you can give yourself to others.